Today's jewelry making workshop is how to make dangles and drops. And I have four easy techniques for using crystal pendants and beads. So this is gonna make it really quick to make dangles and drops for all of your jewelry making projects. And if you take a look at the earrings that I have here, these have little teardrop shapes at the end and I just put those with a jump ring and a piece of chain and it makes a really glamorous little earring. Now there's also a pair that I did a wire wrapped loop, which I'll show you how to do, and basic loops. And those are three of the techniques and I also have pinch bales that I'll show you in just a sec. So let's start out with jump rings. And there are a couple of tricks for using jump rings and a lot of people use two pairs of pliers to open them. You can use um, bent chain nose plier and a regular chain nose like I have here. And you wanna use the long portion of the bent nose to turn open one side. You never wanna pull the ends directly apart. Okay, so once you have it open, then you can even use your pliers to kind of manage the ring while you put the pendant on. And this works for any type of pendant. You just wanna make sure that you choose a jump ring that works for the size hole and the distance between the top of the pendant and the ring. You might need a larger ring or a smaller depending on what you have. Now when you're closing a ring, you wanna make sure that you push the ends past each other and then bring them back. And that work hardens the ring a little bit so that you have a nice firm closure that's not going to come apart. Now another way that you can attach pendants is to use a pinch bale. And that's a piece like this that has a loop and two arms with little prongs. And those fit right inside your pendants. You wanna be a little bit careful with this, but just squeeze gently with your fingers and then it's attached. And if you're worried about this being secure, you can add a little drop of glue inside, but um, they're really easy and handy to use. You can just slide them onto an ear wire by opening the front and slipping it on like that. So you have your earring. Then you would just wanna close this back and you're set. You can see how easy it would be to whip up lots of pairs of those. Now this is a different type of pinch bale here that I just squeeze the arms into the top of this crystal heart. To make a basic loop to attach this, you can just string your bead and then make a bend and I typically just bend it against the top of the bead. You could also use your chain nose pliers. Then you wanna use your wire cutters to trim this to about a finger's width. And then you'll use your round nose pliers. And you can grasp the end and roll it back. And as you roll it back, then you just make sure that it's nice and secure and you have a, a nice loop there that you can attach to another component. You could slide this right onto an ear wire, but when you make jointed dangles like this, you can see how that extra movement really takes advantage of all the faceting on the crystal. So that is a beautiful way to set these off. And then you can also do wrapped loops. So this is a head pin, has a ball at the end that prevents the bead from sliding off. And then you take your round nose pliers and you wanna leave a little bit of space here then you roll your round nose pliers back. And then I kind of adjust it like that, whoops, with my fingers, and then pick it up with the pliers, the loop in the pliers. Then wrap with this hand around. But some people use a, the bent chain noses for this too. But I like to just use my fingers because I feel like I can get it nice and tight. And you just wanna wrap to cover the space between the bead and the loop. And we'll take one more look at a few drop earrings using the heart and snowflake pendants. And you can see those add a lot of shimmer. So you have your four basic techniques. And that's our jewelry making workshop for today.